Hi guys, what is up? Fish here from Play Ready Gaming, and today I'm unboxing and reviewing a little little thing here. I I I'm gonna butcher this name. Oh, Yuru, Huru, Yuru, Yuru, see what it's actually called. U H U R U. Yuhuru. Yuhuru. Anyway, this is a wireless gaming mouse, the WMO2 they've called it. It's got uh, up to 10,000 DPI pro programmable, so pro programmable software on Windows OS system. It's got some flashing lights. I'm going to show you the box real quick before we get into this. Uh, up a bit, down a bit, right a bit. Right, so there's a picture of it on the front. There's a picture of it on the back with uh, telling you what the buttons do. There's uh, some specs on the side. I'll read them to you in a second. And there's a lovely little bit of stuff on that side. Uh, nothing much on the bottom apart from the uh, logo and name of the product. Um, so, according to this, it is a 2.4G wireless mouse. Uh, six buttons that are programmable. 800. 1,600, 3,000, 5,000, and 10,000 CPI, which is DPI. Programmable software only supported in WinOS, uh, XP Vista, Windows 7, 8, 10, Mac, Linux, RGB LED light, built-in rechar rechargeable lithium polymer battery, which is good, and gaming sensor. I don't know what that is. Uh, let's just get into it, shall we? Let's open the box up. It's a really simple... I, I like it when the, when the companies do this. I'd rather not have a comp super duper complicated box. But basically, this just goes up. <whistles> Ta da! And you're greeted with the mouse straight away. So we'll put this to one side and we'll have a look and see what else is in the box of Unio. We've got. I don't know what they are. But they're in the. Well, I, I, yep, I don't know what they are. Um, don't know. Oh, it's got a happy and an unhappy face on this. So on the happy side, it's got a happy side and an unhappy side. I'll say on the happy side, it says, "Thank you for shopping with us." If you don't know how to express your newfound joy, we got we got a few suggestions. So we've share your experience by writing a, 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 a review on Amazon. Tell your friends and family. Contact us with www.yaharumobility.com. Or there's services a uh, service at yaharamobility.com as an email address. On the other side, if you need more help, you can Skype or WhatsApp call them on a phone number. There's a you can email that support at uharumobility.com or you can leave them a message on their website as well. That's pretty cool. Shows that they have got customer service behind them. See when you see a lot of these mice ones that look like this anyway, or not exactly like this obviously, but some mice on Amazon, they're like a tenner, and you think, well this uh, ranges in at the 24, 25 pound mark, and it, just first impressions, it feels pretty solid. We've got ourselves an instruction manual, basically it tells you how to plug it in, we don't really need to read this, we'll have a look at the software, if there is one. It says, please note the driver and program the, the driver to program the button could only could only compatible with Windows system. I, I need to download that at yaharumability.com. What else is in the box? So we lift up this section here by the looks of things. Oh, oh, that is hollow. Wait a minute, I've only got a cable in here. Nothing else. Long cable, USB to micro USB. Could have done with USB-C, but you know, at the end of the day, you're going to be using it wirelessly, so this is solely for charging. Doesn't bother me. What does bother me is I don't know where the nano chip is. Is it in the? Is it on the mouse? It's actually, considering the size of the box, I got I got quite scared because I thought the box was quite small. I was, worried, I was worried that this was going to be small as well. But what's this? Oh yeah. There it is. It's in the bottom of the mouse. That's pretty cool. We've got knee power at the moment. Oh, we do. We do. Look at that. Look at that. I'll turn my lights off. It's red. Uh, so, first impressions of, uh, of looking at the mouse 
in hand. Uh, it's a pretty solid looking mouse. Doesn't feel cheap at all. Not what you expect at this price point really. There's rather a quick size comparison to my mouse. It's heavier than my current mouse. Uh, they're about... It's a little tiny bit bigger, which is good, because I've got rather large hands. Uh, more glowing stuff on it. Like, so if you look at my... Uh, what is this called again? Harpoon RGB mouse. That's what this is called. Um, look, it's only got a little bit of glowing at the bottom. This foyer glows, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, right, let's plug her in. Now it's charging. And if you can see, close while it's charging. That's cool. I guess I'll leave it a couple of hours to uh, charge up. And until then, I'm going to plug my Instagram. Uh, if you like taking pictures of toys... Uh, wait, no, hang on, let me say that again. If you like cool pictures of toys, go over to Instagram and uh, type in If Toys Talk, and you'll find my Instagram. got a few pictures I'm going to throw up on screen. Yeah, I'm plugging the fucking shit out of this. Uh, Dragon Ball pictures... Power Rangers pictures. I've got Star Wars pictures. I've got this is one of my favourite ones that I've done. So lovely jubbly. Like they have action figures. How cool is that? So yeah, pop on over to uh, to my Instagram. Or or if you're not, it, it, go over to my mixer. Buffed up Big Mac. That's the name of the that's the name of the the mixer. Basically. It's my alter ego, buffed up Big Mac man. Go check him out. Anyway, back in a right. bit. So before we proceed any further, I should probably mention that Yuharu or Huaru uh, actually emailed us asking if we wanted to review the mouse. So they actually provided us with this. But this whole review is completely unbiased. I am genuinely impressed. But with the mouse, uh, I've charged it for a bit. It's all colourful and stuff. I'll turn the DPI right down. Well, not right down. Um, what's I think I'm on 1600 right now because I had it down to 800 and it was way too slow. And I think the initial setting was 10,000 and that was miles too high. But I think it'd be okay with this. So we're going to have a look at the, uh, at the program itself now. So let's just minimise this. And here we have it. This is the program that you are asked to download. So... Click, right click, middle button. <sighs> Forwards, backwards, and CPU cycle. I, I personally wouldn't want to change any of them. But you have, you have different profiles. Home bases. Home bases is off, that is now shut down. What's macro settings? Uh, I don't know. You cannot change the colours. The colours are automatically cycled by the looks of things. Doesn't bother me. You don't really see them when your hands on them anyway, but it does look good. Runs fairly smoothly. I'm using the mouse right now, let me remind you. Feels pretty smooth. So this is so I think this is sixteen hundred DPI. Let's shift it to uh, three thousand. Yeah. Seems pretty reasonable, pretty responsive. Let's switch it to 5,000. Again, pretty good, I guess. Switch it to 10,000. It's where it gets absolutely ridiculous for me. How people use the mouse like this, I have no idea. But again, it seems pretty responsive. I can't use it. And down to 800, which for me is way too slow. But then back to... 1600. What's in the advanced settings? Point of speed. Point of visibility. Display pointer trail. Ooh. You see that? Ooh. People actually use this. Is this a thing people use? Right. <laughs> Back to normal. Yeah, um. Scroll. Oh, it's got a scroller. It feels pretty good. It feels like a scroller. Uh, but yeah, it's... Overall, I'm actually really impressed with the price point of £24. It's pretty good. The ability to just keep a solid colour would have been nice. But, other than that, it's it's a, it's a, it's a good mouse. I think I'm going to use this 
um, permanently for a couple of months and just to see how it feels um, I because as of first impressions go it's really good where's my old mouse uh, obviously with this mouse if you can see it this one uh, which is my original gaming mouse which is wired I'll see if I can load it up without the mouse plugged in but the DPI settings on there are going to be uh, obviously going to be so much better because just because you know like you have I guess you know I usually see I usually use it at 1000 one six hundred, three thousand. So eight hundred is too qu too slow. Uh, one thousand is what I usually use, which is what the little arrow means. Um, eight hundred is too slow, which is the slowest setting on this. Uh, so sixteen hundred is the closest I could get on this on this mouse. But yeah, like obviously with the Corsair stuff, you can change the colours and all that. But that, that Corsair is a big company. I've never heard of URU before, and I'm really impressed. Um, they sell microphones, uh, keyboards, wired versions of this, uh, wireless uh, versions with that use normal batteries, I think, rather than rechargeables. But yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. It's making me full screen again. I like it. I'm going to use it. It's bigger than my old one, which is good because I had big hands. It's it feels more solid because it's got more weight to it, which for me I feel is pretty good. It's it looks cool. It feels I'm very impressed. Um, as as I said, the the doo doo microphones and uh, keyboards as well. I'm very I'd be very intrigued to see what the uh, the microphones like because I use a condenser microphone. And there's this USB, but I've heard good things and I want to try it. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please remember to smack the like button, subscribe, follow me on Mixer, uh, mixer.com forward slash buffed up Big Mac, and you can follow me on Instagram at if toys talk. But until next time, I'll see you when I see you. Peace.